Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Single Dad, Single Mom podcast. I am your co-host, Joseph Rochelle. Along with me is... Nicole Cox. That's right. And today, we have a really unique episode. I'm, I'm kind of excited about this because it's personal to me. We are going to be introducing you to Amber and Amanda from Polish Living. And they offer a very unique service. Um, what they do is they come into your space and they will help declutter get everything that is negative out, and then bring in a whole fresh feeling, vibe, aesthetic right. to your place, which is so healthy and healing because I know when I was going through my divorce and you know I kind of just left with whatever I could take, uh, I'm surrounded by all these horrible memories. And you know, things have energy and things have emotions attached to them. And that can kind of mess you up when you just are looking around and you're like, oh my gosh, this is not my life anymore, you know? Well, and it can re-trigger trauma. Oh my God, yeah. You, I mean, you stay in it. Yeah. Yeah, you just stay Absolutely. in this broken world. So without further ado, please welcome to the podcast, Amanda and Amber from Hi. Polish Living. Hello. Thanks for having us. Yes, oh, thank, thank you so you. much for being thank on the show. Thank you for coming. So girls, you really, I mean, you rocked my socks off when you came in. I didn't really know what to expect. And uh, it was what really, I think, blew me away the most was, number one, coming out of a divorce, often, uh, and it doesn't matter what side you're on, especially if you're now in a custody battle and you're spending all your money on attorneys, you don't have a lot of money to refurnish your place. You know, I mean, some people, I guess, do, but I certainly didn't. And you actually were able to come in and help me identify the things that were negative triggers and had negative emotion attached to it. And you actually sold those items and repurposed that money wow. into helping me get new items yes. that were fresh. And, uh, and you sent me away for a few days <laughs> and I came back and I walked into a place I didn't even recognize. It was, it was fantastic. That's amazing. Yeah. 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 I mean, they didn't. Pay for I me wish. to go away. I, let, me, let me stress that. So <laughs> those of you are like, oh, hey, yeah, free vacation. No, no, no. That's not what I'm saying. But I, I did. I, I have a business trip and I went away. And when I came back, it was it was unbelievable. You know, like I felt like hope for the first time. Like, oh, my gosh, I, I do have a life to look forward to. I do have something I can move forward and start fresh. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. yeah which was so good for my mental state, you know. Because I mean, I wish I would have had you guys back when I was going through what I went through personally. And now I will definitely send my clients to you. Thank you. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about where you even came up with the idea for doing what it is that you do, because it's so much more than just personal organizing. It's so much more than interior decorating. I mean, there is a whole energy work that you do. Correct. You want to go? Yeah. Um, well, to start, we are all more energy than we are matter. And people don't really realize that. And so when you operate from that uh, mindset, you really want your surroundings to be joyful, um, things that make you happy, things that make you feel peaceful, things that your environment to just reflect on how you want to perceive the world and how you want the world to perceive you. And so. to feel calm. You want to have a calm surrounding. You want your home to be a place of peace and comfort. And that's where we spend a lot of our time. So it, when we're in an environment that has chaos and negative emotions, that, that can drain us down. And our things can be a big part of that, even mm -hmm. clothes. Now, when you walk into a place for the first time, can you feel it? Oh, oh we yes. can feel energy. Oh, I mean, yeah. We can feel energy in the area. So it, it means... Yes. I won't give you certain parts of Arizona, but there's a lot of heavy energy in Arizona. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. Some yes. good, some bad. Um, yeah. And people don't realize, you know, they will collect things that people give them because they feel guilty or obligated or it was a part of oh, yeah. the the will or the estate. I mean, I'm going through some stuff like that right now. Not not a topic to talk about, but... Mm -hmm. I can't throw away, like, birthday cards. Like, I feel bad. Yeah. Like, they're yeah. going to know. Don't feel <laughs> bad. Don't feel bad. It's okay yeah. to get rid of yeah. them. I have yeah. you throw out my birthday cards. Because, <laughs> because if, you, if you throw the things away, then all the new you think positive you're throwing can come in. Yes. Yeah, you but people think they're throwing them. a piece of that person away, and that's yes. not true. And that exactly. isn't. Exactly. And, and yeah. the thing is, what we've learned is when you're able to actually let go of things, that's where the peace starts. People think that hanging on to things really tight 
whether it's emotions or it could be anger, things it could be sure. things, all yes. these things accumulate yeah. and they can actually weigh you down yeah. and make you sad and make you depressed. Right. And so when you, and a lot of our clients, they, they want to hang on to things and, and we tell them the power is in the letting go. And we see yep. the transformation. We saw it with you. Oh my gosh. It was magical. I love that. To I see that. You get a so burst of energy. You actually feel more energized I in mean, a positive way. So amazing. I look forward to coming home. Yeah. Yes. Like, yeah. You're yeah. excited to sit in your Instead new Instead of dreading to come home to an empty house, you know, at yeah. the end of the day. Now, yeah. Nicole, you were telling me the other day that um, that, that energy, that, that uh, it, it can really affect your mental state as well as your physical state. Correct. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously if you're living around things in your environment that are cluttering and that are triggering your emotions, then your mental health is going to be at stake. So clearing out those things just gives you more well-being and mentally, physically on both all the levels. Oh yeah. And, and I mean, most of my clients that are going through custody battles, that's a huge part you know, mental and physical, everything plays a role. So, and I love that you guys are talking about energy because I definitely feel like my clients will benefit from having you help them to clear out the clutter. Cause sometimes it is hard if you're going through a custody battle or a divorce, you're a single parent, you want to hang on to everything. Oh, yeah. You don't want to let go, but when you can like make the space, then more positive can come in. So how do you decide when you go in what to keep and what to get rid of? You know, because like some things, some things may be painful. Like I still have my wedding album, right? And I don't want to get rid of that because that's attached right. to my son. Like I want my yeah, son to right. be able to see yeah. that, hey, we, we did love each other. We got married and it was beautiful and it was amazing and, you know, and all that. That's you very know? positive. That is yeah. True. So how do you decide which is the negative and which is the key? Well, we do things that um, we create storage boxes. We can create books. Um, so if you took all those cards, there's companies you can send them in and they'll actually put all those cards in a book down. for you and condense oh, like it. Like a yeah, chat book, book yeah. and all those chat books. Yes. yes, that's awesome. We ask a lot of questions too. So mm -hmm. when we are with our clients, especially in the beginning, we are constantly asking them questions. How do you feel about this? Why do you want to hold on to this? Is this bringing a good memory? Is it a bad memory? If it's a bad memory, we allow them to sit with it. You can sit with this as long mm -hmm. as you would like, but maybe if you let go of this item, it'll free you up for a better mindset about whatever that situation was, or it can allow the healing process to take place. Right. I love that. I yeah. do love that. That's great. That's fascinating that you can actually, uh, because a lot of times people just have a block, right? Like you're just mm -hmm. stuck. Mm -hmm. and, and you, you can't get stuck with your stuff yeah <laughs> or you feel stuck mm -hmm. it's easier to feel stuck when you've got all the stuff around you yeah that's yeah it literally physically Punch keeps you, you paralyzed mm -hmm. people don't realize this yeah. is a serious it is a serious issue uh-huh and and eventually it can lead to a hoarding mentality which oh, is yeah. a whole nother topic yeah right? but that is a very dangerous way mm -hmm. to live and the more and more that you collect things and then you go into sort of a paralysis with it and you won't, you, you won't get rid of anything. Yeah. So that's why we break it down into categories to help people. Yep. And then they donate things, um, that's nice. sell things. We have this saying that we, I think you came up with it. I love it. If everything is special, then nothing, nothing is special. special. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love yeah. it because it's, it's so true. You, yeah. you have these it people is. that collect. Oh, I'm collecting these beanie babies and I'm collecting these <laughs> coins and I'm collect, you know, the collection goes on and on all this sports memorabilia. And pretty soon your house is just like full of stuff. Yeah. You can't walk around. You can't put, you can't even put a drink on your coffee table because there's stuff everywhere. Oh so gosh. it doesn't serve a positive purpose. It's collecting dust. Basically. Yes. Yes, yeah, absolutely. So we do create like memorable boxes, different, different ways to store some of the items we don't, you know, we're not there to tell people to get rid of everything they have, but we just want them to feel free and to let go of the things that are really holding them back. That's I think that's wonderful. really great that you spend the time to really get to know the people. Because I'm sure, uh, well, I would assume that people watching this that are like, oh, that sounds good, but they're just going to come in and take my stuff. And, you know, I'm not no. going to say. And, we do a lot more than you know, that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we work very fast. Although I will tell you, you <laughs> have expired condiments fast. and spices That's in your awesome. in your cabinet. Amber yeah, is going to get rid of those suckers <laughs> and you will never see them again. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, to add to what you were mentioning about your wedding album, um, I think it's great that you hold on to it. And for my kiddos, I have a clear tote that has their names on it, memories, and that was a memory that went into my kiddos' oh, tote. Oh, it's like compartmentalized. Yeah. So it's no and longer so that's your a memory. memory. Yeah, that's, that's a memory, memory that they can say, oh, this oh, was I when mom that. and dad were married and they were together and they were happy. What a healthy way so, to do that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I like that. So what are some tips for the people watching that, you know, may not be able to hire you right away, but what's like... They're, they're fresh out of the divorce. They're, they're maybe the first month or two in their new place. Oh, yes. What is something they can do right now to help to at least start the journey of healing? Well, one Great of the question. first things that, that I would suggest is be careful of everyone you know giving you things. Because all of a sudden, now you have a bunch of stuff that you really don't need and you really don't want. And kind of look and see what triggers you. And if you're sitting on a couch and you just have a lot of bad memories right. about that couch, maybe you can't afford to couch. replace the couch, but you could maybe recover it or you could get mm -hmm. a cover for it. There's a lot of little things that you can do, but really pay attention to what things make, how they make you feel and yep. what things trigger you. Yep. And then in that um, process, putting a little box like a cardboard box in each and every room and if you're sitting in that room and you notice something that you're just like I don't I don't really like that item I don't it doesn't make me feel good or whatever it is whatever the memory is that's associated put it in the box to donate wow. so wow, that great. starts the process yeah. and there's so. such amazing places here to donate to like chrysalis the home for it's a shelter for women and yeah. children absolutely yeah I did that a lot when I was going through my and it feels good to give to somebody else that could appreciate it or right. could use it. Yeah. And Amanda, you said something that really just impacted me that I never even thought about because I can relate to, you know, don't take everything from everybody because what ends up happening, because that's what happened with me is I had nothing. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I remember my first apartment, I found Give a couch on <laughs> Craigslist yeah, right. and that was it. I didn't have a bed. I didn't have anything. I had a couch. Right. And I think I had a coffee table and that was the extent of what I had. And what ends up happening is you get all these people giving you things and it's not helping you because it's still not you. Right. 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 Now you're just surrounded by new stuff that isn't you. That right. could be carrying somebody else's energy. Yeah. And that, you yeah. guys haven't really touched on it, but I can give, be a little woo-woo with that and like mm -hmm. maybe burn some sage yeah. or Palo Santo. Yeah, yes. you can clean it. Do you that. use that? Yeah, yes. absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. But you, when you ever, whenever you do that with sage, you want to always walk it out the door. Yes. And <laughs> yeah. don't, bring don't leave it, it in back in. Yeah, you get rid of it. <laughs> don't leave it in the house. No. Yeah, you, you so never want to. like lighting about, incense and letting it burn. Don't Doors have to be open. <laughs> right. And with intention, you know, when you do something like that. But like you said, just don't collect everything from everyone. Don't feel like you have to. And it's okay to say no. Say That's no, thank you. That's such a huge one. I don't need that. Yeah. And one of, yeah, and one of the other things, because you were talking about it when we first started, is when we go into a room, whatever it is, like let's say we're, we're doing somebody's bedroom, we will basically take all the pictures down, we will try to remove everything Aww. from that room, move the bed in a different direction. We will completely um, give that space a whole entire uh, different look. It will elevate that space. And that's if you're still in the that's family awesome. home, right? You're the yeah. one who stayed. Or, yeah, 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 yeah that, absolutely. That if, you're, if you're in a, and, and this is for anybody, this isn't just for single death. Anybody that has a space that's just like, they're overwhelmed by it and they just don't think that it can look any different. Yeah. I mean. We have an, two new sets of eyes that can completely transform that space. Absolutely. Right. That's awesome. And it really does help to have a different perspective. Yep. Yes. And to say, hey, you know, we can move this over here and that over there. And it really makes it feel different because, like you said, it's all energy and we're moving that around to make it more cohesive and more comfortable and peaceful. Right. That's amazing. Okay. So just, just to recap... Uh, something you can do right now. I love the cardboard box idea. I think that's amazing because a lot of times you don't know right away, yeah. but you will, there'll be that moment, right? Like yeah. 3 a.m. You wake up, you're like, ah, oh, that's gone. You know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so that's fantastic. Any other, you know, immediate fail saves? What's the biggest mistake you think people make when they are starting over? Besides holding on to stuff, because we've already covered that at nauseam, I think. Well, I don't think making really rash decisions too quickly is a good idea. Yeah. 
I think I be patient with yourself. Don't throw out everything. Don't throw out everything. You know, yeah, yeah. Unless, <laughs> unless you have a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're going to buy all new things. That's fine. But yeah. there may be some things you throw out that you may regret throwing out right. later. Right. Yeah. So take your time. Don't be hard on yourself. That's yep. why the box is a great idea yep. because you can just keep putting things in it. And maybe sometimes you might take something back like, out. Okay, mm-hmm. I want okay. this <laughs> rather than yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Or there's yeah. a reason to keep it maybe for my child. So yes. that there's yeah. that memory there. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Yeah, like I'm thinking of a baby blanket right now that maybe the in-laws had given. You're like, oh, I hate them, you know. And then it's like, but that's their baby blanket, right? You yeah. know? Just put in a yeah. tote for your kiddo and put it yeah. away, and then put it away. they get they have so much fun going through their little memory boxes. So you know they've got their um, their little handprints, and then they've got I their little baby the bonnet, and the first you know the, the hospital <laughs> bracelet, and then oh, yeah. it goes, and then like pictures that they drew mom during oh, elementary yeah. school, you know. So I I didn't save everything, right? Because she doesn't save can't, everything. I can't do that being She's being really in my profession. <laughs> but it, it's just like the most memorable things. We well, could digitize them. Yes, and you, you can. can. Like we just yeah. talked, the chat mm-hmm. book, you can yeah. send mm-hmm. everything, or you could, yeah. So let's hear. What is a memory of a client that you have worked with that really stands out where you're like, ah, oh, that that's why we do this. That like that made it all worthwhile. Every you know? client we have. Every oh yeah. Time. Every oh, that's time. Good. One thing though that really like comes to mind really quickly is we had a client that had a bunch of keys. And I said, What why are you saving these keys? Does it doesn't go to any car you have? <laughs> And she says, I know. And so she was kind of getting rid of them in the get rid of pile. And then later called and told us that yeah. it, it had a really big attachment because it was the first time she could afford a car oh. after a divorce. Oh. So it, she wanted to just save it more for an empowerment moment mm-hmm. and memory. That's great. And I think that's okay to keep yeah. it. I said, yeah. that's okay. Depends you on what the story that. is behind the item. And yeah. it, as long as it's not an excessive amount of items like that, because... If everything's special, then nothing is right, special. Right. Interesting <laughs> that you guys say that. I mean, the memories behind the items. There really is a memory behind every item. Yep. It's interesting to look yeah. at it from that perspective. Yeah. Yes. I think people don't realize that, like you said, everything is energy. And even yes. inanimate objects have a vibration to them. Okay. Now, is there a way to, like with the keys, of reframing? Oh, absolutely. The, the, we the could. We can make her a little shadow box yeah. if... if if requested and it could have like keywords in it and then it could have her oh. keys showcase. I mean, that's that, what she ended up doing yeah. down the road, but we can do that. You know, yeah. Cause you go beyond just, just cleaning, which by the way, you know. the, the maids, I think <laughs> that we have come in, don't even hold a candle to the level of cleaning you do, but just, they are not maids. They just happen yeah. to be exceptional. We clean at all as things. we go. We yeah. It's, <laughs> it's incredible. Um, but there, you do so much more than just reorganizing. I mean, you really do put so much heart and soul into taking the time to repurpose those things and work with the client and helping them heal. Yep. Yeah, right? So I mean, that's, that's our, amazing. Our clients go through a very signature process of emotions that we notice. So it goes from they're very excited and motivated for us to get there. And then when we... When they get, you know, we get there, then, you know, they're telling us our, their stories and whatnot. And then they have this kind of like regression where they kind of mm-hmm. take a step back and they're like having second thoughts for us kind mm-hmm. of being there, especially <laughs> when they see us kind of going through the things and suggesting. And we have a way of talking to our clients and really explaining the process and why it is so beneficial, especially for a psychological standpoint, right? Yes. And then they trust the process. They trust us. And then when we're all done, the smiles and the excitement that we see on their faces, that that's why we do what we do. That's yeah. awesome. That's the reward. For now, I, I don't want to overlook one uh, very special thing that you do, which I think is beautiful, because one of the areas of our community that are so often overlooked are the elderly. Mm-hmm. You know, and Nicole and I were just talking about this earlier, that, you know, single parents... We ultimately become parents to our parents as they get older, right? And you go out of your way to, I mean, you actually drive about two hours uh, quite often to work with senior facilities and helping them go through. I mean, you're talking about a lifetime of memories. Talk briefly about what that's like. Well, with with the seniors, you know, and they can also have gone through a divorce. There's all different levels of that. 
Um, but, you know, they start to have hearing impairments and mm -hmm. maybe they can't see. We have a client that has lost her vision over about a year ago. So it, it just takes a little bit more patience and care to really listen to them. And they, the elderly community, the one thing that happens is they might have gotten into an Amazon purchasing oh, sort frenzy. of habit, right? Yes. So <laughs> then, 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 then you move into a smaller house. So maybe they lived in a 5,000 square foot home. Now they're in 1,500 yeah. square feet. Mm -hmm. You can't take 5,000 square feet of things with you. And even though they'll, you know, will help them declutter and minimalize things and bring it down to what works for that space, the problem is the habits have to change. Yeah. Because if the habits don't change, the clutter builds up and it becomes a really big problem. So and you're left with the same problem. The same yeah. problem. Q mm -hmm. QVC went to Amazon. Oh, so. uh, yeah. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. And we see both. We so do. we do help. We do a refresh program with our clients as well. So we can come back, whether it's once a month, once a quarter, okay. um, you know, every, half half yearly, yearly, whatever works for them. For like a maintenance program? Yes. And That's we put great. them on a maintenance. And that really, we notice, helps. <laughs> because it's Cause we can do everything. We can, we can ergonomically place the items. We can label everything. We can have it all <laughs> sustainably set up. But if the buying and the purchasing doesn't, <laughs> st yeah, doesn't stop, and then the items that don't come out so if something goes in we always say bring, bring something, something out. out and then that way it stays <laughs> it sustainable i yes. actually like that i think yeah. that's a great way do it to with look clothes at your yes. closet oh, yeah. definitely i think i need to do a little bit of a hybrid. <laughs> <laughs> well and i'm sure the clients you know like after i get a haircut i immediately go out and change the style that the you know like <laughs> i'm sure the moment you leave they're like ah, i can't want to sometimes they move the things other. around again yeah. and that's okay yeah that's mm -hmm. fine mm -hmm. But, but again, those habits, you know, can easily build back up again. Yes. Right. Yeah. Well, I love everything that you did for me. I think it was so healing, it really helped empower me and, and put me in a great headspace because, you know, like attracts like and the energy that you are putting out that you're living in is what you're going to attract, yep. you know, and I noticed a dramatic difference in my life when I came home and I actually felt like, hey, this isn't somebody else's place. This isn't, mm -hmm. you know, not the place I used to have. This is my my place, my new place. And, and I love that. And I love what you're doing for the elderly community. That's something we're gonna to be touching on in yeah. a future episode is getting into being the parent of your parents and what that's like, you know, because yeah, they might be single parents too, you know, and getting into, you know, when one parent dies and the other one now is a widow and what that's like, because you never stop being a parent. No, no. Yeah. once you're a parent, you're always a parent. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> always. Always. You know, <laughs> and, and that, that's so beautiful. Um, before we sign off and let you girls go back to improving people's lives, <laughs> I know you have a great little sign off <laughs> jingle that you like to yes. do. Yeah. At Polished Living, we want you to love the space you're in. They've done that once or twice. <laughs> love it. <laughs> well, thank you again so much. It's yes, awesome. I love what you do. So glad you came on the show. If you want to learn more and get in touch with Amanda and Amber, just go to the link right here at the bottom of the screen, uh, Polished Living, and you can find them on Facebook. Instagram, obviously you have a website, uh, and get in touch. And uh, do you do just consultations as well you yeah, know we can do complimentary consultations, consultations. yeah Absolutely. so Wonderful. yeah pick their brains because they're they're fantastic and even if you don't think that you need help i would say just give it a try because you know you might you might be surprised <laughs> just how uh how amazing it is you know and for those of you who are really great at designing and, and keeping your house clean oh that was one thing i was going to ask you so you know the cobbler, cobbler's kids have no shoes you know so <laughs> In your home life, are you are you just as organized? Is that? I I'm, try to be. She's even better than I'm, me. I'm over the top. Do you come into each other's top. places? <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes we'll help each other out. Yes. Yeah. Four uh, eyes are better than two. That's right. right. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, reach out. You know, if you need a little bit of help, especially if you are a single parent and you have young kids and you're yes. overwhelmed, you know, sometimes that's, you just don't have the energy. That's the tough part. Yeah. Even if you have the yeah. skill, you may not have the energy. Blended homes. That's a big yes. one. Oh yeah! I know that we're we're getting off, but blended oh, there's so homes many things. We, you know, are, we just got to huge. have you back on the show again to talk <laughs> right. about more stuff because clearly <laughs> okay. there's a lot to unpack here. Pun there intended. Is, yes. <laughs> <laughs>
and but put will, away. <laughs> yeah. But we will see you again in a future episode. But uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Again, check out Polish Living. Follow the link there. And like, subscribe, stay tuned. We have lots of great content coming up, a lot of great topics. And if we're talking about something that you uh, have not heard or you want to hear us talk about something, please put in the comments there. We always want to know more. We only yes. know what we know, right? right? Yeah. And there's there's always new experiences that we can, we can touch on. So perfect. Till next time. See you soon. Bye. We've known Joe for a really long time and he's been through a lot and he's a single dad as you can see by all these lovely little photos and pictures and things that his son has created. So we need to figure out a way to incorporate his son into this environment, but I want to see a really transformed, beautiful, tranquil, calm environment that truly emulates his personality. I couldn't agree more. We have so many great elements in this room. We have such a special person that we get to work for. And uh, let's make this a job to remember. Absolutely. So one thing I noticed was over here, there's this great plaque from a vineyard and it has the family name. I thought that would be great over here where we create more of a bar atmosphere and he loves a good old fashioned, yes. nice cocktail in the evening. Yes. So this would be you know, beautiful if we set this all up right. And I'm looking at this picture here. I love this picture, all of the fall colors. And we have love this nice fall looking sofa. If we put this picture above where these crosses are, this will just really tie in the room together. I agree, 100%. Does it, does it come in? Can I see it? Oh, oh my God. Hello, this, this is amazing. <laughs> What did you do to my place? This is fantastic. <laughs> it's not the same place, right? It's not the same place. Holy yeah. cow. It's exciting, isn't it? There's new furniture. There is new furniture. Oh my God, I love this. Isn't that great? Great place to store the shoes and then... My, all right, <laughs> my, my office is gone. <laughs> so. well, that's, that's another story. We'll okay. talk about that in a minute. So let's just take this all in. Um, oh, you got the frame for the yes. flag. Yes. I love it. I love this. Yeah, so we've got some memorabilia that is reflecting your service to the country. And we've also oh. showcased, you know, one of your hobbies, which is, you know- I have to be honest, I love that you kept that there because, you know, I kind of really, that was like my favorite thing that I did. Um, but I love the little motorcycle stuff yes. there. That really, yeah, this it was really such a cluttered is. mess. Yeah, and the clock looks amazing there. Doesn't that look nice? nice? That's so good. And this bar is so cool. Isn't this amazing? Holy cow. Yeah. Where did you get this? Well, through a uh, few little resources we have. Yep. So basically what we were able to do is take some of those items that, you know, you discussed with us that didn't really serve you any longer and get you some new items that really reflected who you Yeah, are. my table's Your gone. table yes. and the other table in yes. there. <gasps> wow. Girls, I can't thank you enough. This is amazing. I mean, just, the moment I walked in, I was so blown away. I mean, really, like it was a totally new home. And home is definitely what you've created here, so thank you. Oh, that's why we do what we do. I mean, we love to help people. And we want you to love the space you're in. <laughs> and I definitely do. Yay! Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.